Okay, we're going to show you real quick on how to add in a motion tween. So I have my character right here that's turning that we all should have already copied the, the frames. So we're ready to add in anticipation and a tween. I already gave you time to add in anticipation, but I didn't create it myself because I didn't have time. So let me turn this off real quick. Our person turns. And then right here, you should have a few frames of the anticipation of being hit by the ball, right? So what we need to add in now is that ball. Now, if you see how I created this image and this ball is coming in, hitting, and then bouncing off, okay? This is called a motion tween, and we are going to create it. Let's delete. Now, I'm going to create a new layer, okay? On this layer, I'm going to create with my oval tool here. I made the color red, so that way we can definitely see it. Just a circle. Okay, notice that now that circle is throughout the entire animation because it's always going to start there at the beginning. But I want to move this circle, the ball, to about maybe right there because this is the time where I want the ball, because it's all about timing, to come in and hit him just as he turns around. Again, you'll have anticipation here, three or four frames of anticipation and then the ball, but for this, you'll get the point. Okay, so I'm going to grab just that first keyframe up here and I'm going to move that back to about right there. So now the ball is there. That's cool. I kind of want to add. I kind of want to drag this frame out to kind of elongate this ball because the animation is going to take a little bit longer. Now, of course, this layer, the guy is going to disappear. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to create another layer. And on this layer, I'm going to use my drawing tool. I'm just going to create a circle. God, that was a terrible circle. God, that was bad. That was bad. I can't have it. I can't do that. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change over here to my paintbrush tool. And right here, if you click on here, you can see it'll up, bring up your brush library. And at this point, you can choose like artistic and ink and get some like really kind of cool brushes in here. And if you double click, it'll allow you to kind of like draw within like more artistic brushes. So. terrible. Uh, I'm using a trackpad, by the way, like you guys all know, and it's tough. All right, I'm going to stick with that because I think it's the closest thing I can get. All right, so notice on this layer too, I have my circle. I'm going to drag that back too. It's about right there. So my point is, is that this animation that we're going to create, this motion tween, can happen with images, shapes, drawings. It doesn't really matter. Anything you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to have this ball start off screen, like in the black area, OK? Now, if you don't see this black area because you're at like fit and window, why don't you just like lower the size of your window percentage? And then you can see more of that black area there. So let's move so I can see. Actually, I'm going to do fit window because I can see the black, OK? So my scrub head is right there, OK? Right at the beginning of the ball frame. If I go back one, it knows that those two balls disappear, right? So I'm going to start right there. And I'm going to control click on this and go to create motion tween. There's a few different types of tweens, which we'll talk about, but motion tween is the one we're going to start now. And notice that my frame turns yellow. Okay. Now what that means is it's, it animates waiting for you to tell it something. It wants to know where to take that ball. Where should that ball go? Well, I know by right here, that ball should be hitting him in the head. So I'm going to click. Notice I'm on the layer four, which is my circle layer. I'm going to drag out by right there, and I'm going to put it right there. It's going to hit him on top of his head. And you see it automatically adds in keyframes for that ball to move. But we're not done yet because that ball just doesn't stop there. The ball should continue going, and maybe by right here, I'm going to drag it to where it goes out of frame. So it should hit him in the head and then bounce out of frame. And it automatically does it for you. And this is called tweening. What this right here is, that black circle, and right, what that is right there, that black circle, and what that is right there, that black circle, are keyframes. Anything in between is called an in between. So what this is doing is it's automating the in between frames. 
animate in all of its wisdom knows the frames that should be added between the two keyframes, and it is in betweening it for you. See? Now, but that doesn't look like what a ball looks like. A ball should like arc when it, it goes, right? And so it's a really simple thing. If I just move my cursor near the line, you see how it turns into that little curve? And from here, I can add arcs to my line. And now the ball comes in and then bounces out. But just to show you, it doesn't have to be a square or a circle or whatever. I can just draw something, anything, and add a motion tween to it. And I would do the exact same thing. Go to where I want it to hit the person. I'm going to drag it there. Now I'm going to go to, let's say, this frame here and drag it out. I can add in my arcs, same thing I already did. But notice that this one doesn't look real because the ball, I can't tell that it's not turning, but this one's not turning, it's not rotating, it should rotate. And again, from here, it's recording everything you do. So if I go here and then spin this, it is also going to animate that spin as well. It animates everything you do. Let's see. See how it's now turning as it bounces? A little more realism in the movement. And this is what we call motion tweening. And this person's getting a hit in the head from both angles. Look at that. Okay, so that's motion tweening. So I want you to add in your motion tween of the ball hitting your character in the head. Your character should disappear after the ball hits it. Remember, because we only created three or four frames leading up to the ball hitting them, the ball should bounce out of screen, out of frame at this point, okay? And we will finish drawing the character's reaction to having been hit by the ball afterward. So yours will look exactly like mine. It hits, your person disappears, the ball will then go out of frame, okay? Do you see how this just comes back? What is that? That is this little frame right here, which I didn't mean to include. So I'm gonna control click and then remove that frame. And then I can click on this keyframe, drag out one, oh, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it. Anyway, so that's it. That's motion tweening. So go ahead and motion tween the ball hitting your guy. Okay?